Salawam, Salawam. Uh, first and foremost, as always, giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rakhakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule and teach well with the correct doctrines and exhortations of the heavenly scriptures. Peace and salutations also to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, scattered throughout the four winds of the earth, just preaching this word in all sincerity and faith. All right, it's your brother Maya Allah. Back with another lesson, Lord willing to edify the lambs of Yahweh by Shemiel Shai. Right? Uh, in today's exhortation, I just want to get into um, a video that I've seen the elder uh, Yashawamba of Dallas go into. You know, his page is GMS Sha'ar Amaf, Judah 777. Right? You can go back and subscribe to that page and, uh, you know, get edified. Right? But he did a video in regards to uh, Jacob wrestling against the angel for a blessing, man. Okay? Because, because uh, it, it's... Uh, Re relevant to what we doing today in this truth man you know we wrestling and and, and and battling you know as well in in the spirit man to receive a blessing okay and that blessing is ultimately uh to be co-heirs in the kingdom with you how about me shy i and rule and reign we how about me shy man you know to have our uh bodies changed man to be changed to those extraterrestrial bodies all right that can never go off you know can, can never sin because sin equals death you know, to have a new a new heart, a new mind, you know, spiritual powers, you know, to have the nations in subjection unto us to rule and reign this world in righteousness, you know, so so that they may flourish, you know, to be able to go to other galaxies and travel abroad and, you know, set up set up there, you know. That's 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 what we uh wrestling for, man. We gotta wrestle, you know, this wicked ass flesh a lot of times, man, that, that goes off and it can become self willed. You know, the scriptures say, man, that the uh flesh war against the spirit, man. You know, so that, so there's that, and then you got you know these different principalities that we deal with on a daily basis. You know, demonic forces that war against our mind and and, and plays towards our flesh. You know, in order to get us to go off. You know, hey, so so we got we got to deal with that, man. And that's all part of being in this narrow path, man. You know, hey, this narrow path, man, ain't supposed to be easy, man. You know, it's it's like a tightrope, so to speak, man. You know. Hey, hey, and it's easy it's easy it's easy to fall man you know but through the spirit it's easy to uh you know we maintain man through the spirit you know and uh hey man hey it's, it's a beautiful thing man because you know in the beginning we had broke that covenant you know going back to uh you know that covenant that was given to our forefathers you know the law of the commandments going all the way back to uh, genesis exodus you know the first five books of moses you know and we're we're doing what we need to do right now to be in order to be restored back to that to that covenant, man, to receive that second covenant, man. You know? You got a lot of Christians that say the law and the covenants is done away with and this and that. But that that's completely untrue, man. You know, the laws haven't been done away with, man. You know, and we practice it to the best of our ability, but ultimately, you know, we, we can't keep it hundred percent, you know. But within this grace period that the Lord has given us, okay, we, we're making strides in order to keep the law to be found to be in his good graces, man. Okay, so that we can receive that that uh, uh second covenant, man, you know. Which is everything that I mentioned, man. New new bodies. All right, the king. All right. And uh, you know, I just want to get the account right here, you know, in Genesis 30, 32, you know, because I watched the elder video and I took, you know, certain precepts down and added a few myself, you know. And uh went back and reviewed these precepts, man. It's a beautiful story, man. You know. So let's just jump right into it. It says, uh, Genesis 32, starting at verse uh, 24. It says, And Jacob was left alone, and there wrestled a man with him until the day, until the breaking of the day. You know, and that and that man was actually an, an angel, man, you know, that he had, uh, was wrestling with, man. You know, and when you go into that word wrestle, man, I felt like just get it. You know, because that's a, that's a pretty uh, daunting task, man. To, to be wrestling, man. Strong's H79. Avak. Avak. Okay. And it says uh, to wrestle, to grapple. Uh, yeah, man. Grappling. You know? It's a, it's a pretty. Let's go to the root word. It says on the ground, on ground. You know? But yeah, man. Re wrestling is a pretty uh, exhausting. Uh, art form man you know and, and, and it's real it's real tiresome man you know it's not it's not an easy thing man you know especially if somebody you know got you in, in, in a, a locked position to where you can't move 
you know, and you gotta you gotta focus in on you know keeping your breathing right, you know, uh, uh, keeping your sanity. You know what I'm saying? To get out of that, you know. Then when you do gotta get out of that, you you exhausted. You know, you, you didn't exert a lot of energy. You know, and it's like into the truth, man. You know, we we uh, hey man, hey, we we sometimes find ourselves in uh tight situations, man. You know, through our own fuck ups. You know, just through trials and tribulations. You know that the Lord may put our way. You know, in order to try and test us. You know, and, and we fight through that, man. You know, we we continue to strive and push forward. You know, as as our forefather Jacob did, which is a beautiful example, man, to look to. Okay, it says uh. You know, and hey, and and that's called uh, you know, uh, was it? I had wrote the word down, persistence. You know, but I'm gonna get into that at uh, this verse 25. It says, and when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh, and the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint, and as he wrestled with him, you see. So man, look, at, <laughs> he was wrestling with the angel, you know, and the angel couldn't even prevail against him, man, you know. Now, mind you, back in that time, you know, um, uh, 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 men were a lot bigger and stronger, you know, and whatnot. But, but an angel, man, you know, is a is a, is a powerful uh, being, man, from the right hand side of heavenly Father. So here you have it that Jacob actually wrestled with his angel, you know, and and, and the angel couldn't prevail against him, man. Let's look at this. Let's look at this word prevailed. You know, it's saying the angel prevailed not. Okay. Strong's age thirty two oh one. Yahoo. Yahoo. All right, it says uh, to prevail, to overcome, to endure, have power, be able. All right, so the angel really didn't have the power to prevail over uh, over Jacob, man. You know, Jacob was that that adamant about receiving that blessing, man. You know, and we the same way. And mind you, prior to this, you know, he was crossing over. You know, he had to cross through. Uh, you know. Uh, uh, the land of Edom, you know, from Seir, you know, and, and Esau was trying to prevent him. You know, he was he was worried about Esau, you know, uh, destroying him and his and his flock, you know, because Esau wanted to kill him. You know, Esau was his brother, but he, he eventually wanted to kill him because he uh, he lost that blessing. Man, he had sold his birthright, lost his blessing. Right? And it was pretty much ordained from the very jump that he was going to, uh, you know, the elder was going to serve the younger. You know, going back to uh, 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 Romans the ninth chapter. You know, so. But here you have it, man. You know, uh, Jacob. You know, Jacob was praying, man. You know, praying to every father that he he can get past all that and get past Esau. So you know, this this where the angel came into play, man. You know, and, and Jacob, he wanted that blessing, man. You know, and, and through his perseverance, you know, and persistence, you know, in wrestling the angel, he eventually got the blessing. Uh, uh you know, and, and a and our Lord Yahushai actually comes through the loins of Jacob, man. You know. Which, which that's what a blessing but the blessing uh the foundation of the blessing is Yahweh Shai, man. You know? So it's saying he touched the hollow of, of Jacob's thigh, man, and Jacob still was wrestling with him, man. Imagine the type of pain, you know, but he was ignoring that pain, man. You know, he was ignoring the flesh uh, in order to get that blessing, man. The same way we gotta ignore our flesh, you know, to try to weigh against us, man. You know, yeah, you might have the body ailments and this and that, you know, different things like that, but hey, it was the same way with our Lord, man. And I'm gonna get the account of that, but First, let me uh get this definition real quick. It's a lucky if I'm rambling, but you know, you know, and I had this pulled up on the screen because I had did another video about to do the DMT, so don't worry about that. But um, let's get this word. She, uh, perseverance. Uh, it says right here perseverance it says uh persistence in doing something despite difficult or delay in achieving success you know and that's 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 what jacob was doing man he, he was uh hey, he was doing it despite the difficulty man despite his his joint his hollow of his thigh of his leg you know being being out of joint man you know still wrestling uh with that angel man until he got that blessing you know to achieve success he was successful man you know the scripture gonna go on to tell you, but um, yeah, and that's what that's what we doing, man. We we overcoming, man. We got we got to overcome just like uh, Jacob did. I felt it. We hope that. And let's jump to uh, First John two and 
2 and 14. Right, this is the book of John, 1 John 2 and 14. Hey, right. hey, because ultimately, man, if we overcome and endure all these things, man, it, it, uh, we were predestined to do so, man. You know, because that's what that's the lot of the elect, man. You know, this is uh, 1 John 2 and 14. It says, I have written unto you, fathers, because ye have known him that is from the beginning. I have written unto you, young men, because ye are strong, and the word of the Most High abideth in you, and ye have overcome the wicked one, man. Okay? Hey, hey, and Lord willing, man, hey, we are that number, and I pray to be of that number, yeah, hopefully let, you know, um, eventually, uh, we're going we gonna to we gonna get the victory, man, it's already uh, pre-written, you know, and all the words that Heavenly Father is going to come to pass, man, you know? And we overcoming this wicked one, man. You know, though though we may have fall, we fall sometimes and fallen in the past. You know, like scripture says, a righteous man falls seven times, but get it back up again. But the wicked fall fall up into uh mischief, you know. Hey, hey, if you bounce back from that, because it ain't about you falling, it's about how you bounce back, you know. Uh, 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 the word of the most high, you know, continues to abide in you, you know, you continue to push forward, you know, and overcome this wicked one, the devil, these principalities. And that's that's what we do. You know, and it also tell you, you know, the precept that I had uh, down. It also tell you here in Matthew 24 and 13. You know, it's the words of uh, Yahweh Shai. It says uh, Matthew 24 and uh, 13. But he that endure until the end, the same shall be saved. Okay. Hey, so man, this this uh, walk of ours, man, is all about endurance, man. You know. So like uh, it's it's like a marathon, man. It's not no uh fast-paced sprint, man. You know, it's, it's a marathon in which you have to in, endure all type of uh bullshit, man. That comes our way, man. All different hurdles and and different things, man. Whether they be uh self-inflicted through fuck ups our on our own, you know, whether it be uh principalities, you know, uh, that was sent to fuck with us, you know, to 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 throw us off, you know, like uh like um uh, Paul, you know, he had a thorn in his side, man, you know. And I ain't really had the scriptures I read down in any particular order. But let me just uh let's just yeah, let's just jump back. Let's jump back to Genesis. Alright. Uh, let's continue to read on, just get this get this story. Alright, Genesis uh 32 and uh 25 again it says and when he saw that he prevailed not against him he touched the hollow of his thigh and the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him fight through the pain verse 26 it says and he said let me go for the day breaketh and he said I will not let thee go except thou bless me you see <laughs> Jacob man hey and it was all through the spirit man you know J Jacob Jacob uh, knew through the spirit that it was the angel man and, and he said, before you go back into the heavens, you know, to the Father, man, I want you to, you know, give me a blessing, you know? And, and, uh, and that's what he did, man. The, the angel was even fed up. was like, hey, man, let me go, man. I said, hey, I got I to gotta go. Let me go back up, you know? It says, and he said unto him, what is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, verse 28, and he said, thy name shall no more be called, shall no more be Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince has thou power with the Most High and with men, and has prevailed. You see, he, he accomplished what he set out to do, man, was to get that blessing. All right? And he said his name shall no more be called Jacob, but Israel. All right? Yasharala. All right? Meaning prince of a power. Prince of the power. Yah, meaning he. Shar, meaning power. No, Shar, meaning prince. And Allah, meaning power, man. So Yasharala, he is a prince of the power. All right? And, we, and if we are of the seed of Jacob, okay? Then we are princes of the power, man. You know, to be uh soon to be co heirs with Yahweh by Shimei Shai at the conclusion of Esau's queendom, man. You know, it says uh, verse twenty nine. It says, and Jacob asked him and said, "Tell tell me, I pray thee, thy name." And he said, "Wherefore is is it that thou dost ask my after I Salaki?" It says, "Wherefore is it that thou dost ask after my name?" And he blessed him there. Okay, so the angel was like, hey, don't worry about my name, man, you know. And he, he blessed him and took off, you know. So, hey, man, that's that's the story of our forefathers, man, you know. Hey, 
operating through perseverance, man. And I'm just getting going into the spiritual because it's behind it all, you know. Because <clears throat> the scriptures tell us, man, you know, when we come into this ministry, into this truth, we have to prepare our soul for temptation. Let's grab that. Bear with me one second. All right, in um, the book of Ecclesiasticus, or Sirach, chapter 2 and 1. Okay. It says, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. You know? And that's the thing. When we go to that word temptation, it, it means, you know, trials, man. You know? Trial approving, you know? of a, uh, It says, approving of a man's fidelity, integrity, or virtue. You know? So so the Lord presents us with various trials I, in order to prove us, man. You know? And if we are that number, we're going to pass with flying colors, man. You know? It says, verse Two, it says, set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in a time of trouble. You see? And that's what we do, man. We we, we uh, set our heart, our mind aright, you know, and constantly endure, man. So I say in um, Isaiah 33 and 6, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, man. You know? That's what helps us to endure, man, to stay stable-minded in the midst of uh, trouble, man. Just like just like uh, uh, Jacob, man. You know? He had set his mind aright because he had his mind fixed on that blessing, man. You know, he had the right thoughts in his mind, man, to, in order to take him back to Andrew, man. It, you think if he had some other thoughts in his mind, you know, he, he would have kept on. You know, he would have gave up. He would have tapped out, you know. But he was like, no, nah, man, you know, he kept, he kept a clear mind and said, hey, I ain't worried about that. I don't even feel that. Let's, let's go. Let's keep going. <laughs> bad, man, bad. All right. Verse 3, it says, cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. You know, and that's what we're looking to be, man, in this, in this walk of ours, man. You know, we in a lower state right now. You know, we, we the world look at us and, you know, laugh and be mocked and, you know. Hey, but at the end of it all, man, we, we hope to be increased, man. Lord willing, and that would be the case, you know. Because all this is just a, a, it's just a trial, man. Verse uh, 5, it says, For gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity, man. Okay? And we, we are that gold, man, being tried, man. All right, those, those precious metals, man, that the Lord uh, uh, longs for, man. You know, and just like gold, when it get purified, it get constantly dipped in, in, in the fire, man. You know, as this purification process. And that's us in this in this walk of life, man. We constantly being dipped in the fire. Okay? And the scriptures tell us in James, let's get that real quick. Alright, James uh one and twelve. It says, uh, blessed is the man that endureth temptation. Okay? Temptation trials. It says for when he is tried, he shall re receive a crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him, man. Okay? So, man, hey, look, man. We understand that this is, uh, 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 this whole life, man, this whole matrix that we in. All right? And he saw us, uh, queendom. All right? This is all, this all a trial, man. All right? And all the various other lives that we, uh, went through, man. You know? It, there was, those all trials, man. All leading up to, uh, the end, man, that we coming into Okay, and to receive that crown of life, man. That's what we wrestling for, that man. That's what we, that's what we walking this narrow path for, man. It's this difficult road, okay, to receive that crown of life, man. Everlasting life at that, man. It says, verse thirteen. It says, "Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of the Most High, for the Most High cannot tempt with evil, neither tempt he any man. Uh, every but every man is tempted when he's drawn away of his own lust and enticed." Okay, that's that's the, that was the point in verse uh, verse uh, twelve, you know. All right, and uh, let me just jump around, you know, because I want to get the account of uh, Paul. Now these are the precepts that uh, the elder brought out. All right, one second. All right, now this is in Second uh, Corinthians in starting uh, chapter twelve. I'm gonna start at verse five, you know, because basically from verse one to uh, verse five, you know, Paul is just going into his experiences, you know, and, and how he had a lot of, you know, insight and revelations and whatnot. But he said he didn't he didn't want to glory in none of that, you know. He was glorying, he didn't want to boast in what he had seen, you know. He wanted to, he was boasting in his infirmities, man, and shit that he, you know, a lot of stuff that he went through. All right, it's Second Corinthians twelve and five. It says, "Of such a one will I glory." Yet of myself I will not glory, but in mine infirmities. For though I would desire to glory, I shall not be a fool. 
you know. So he wasn't trying to glory in all the things that the Lord allowed him to see. You know, you can go back and read this in full, you know, to get the full expression, read the whole chapter. But, you know, he, and that's the same way we got to be, man. You know, we, we got to uh, be humble. You know, if the Lord allowed us to have visions and, and different things of that nature, we don't glory in that, man. You know, we glory in, in the fact that we persevering, you know, regardless of uh, what's been thrown at us. You know, he says, for though I would desire to glory, I shall not be a fool, for I will say the truth. But now I forbear, lest any man should think me above that which he seemeth me to be, or that he heareth of me. And lest I should be exalted above measure, through the abundance of the revelations, there was given me a thorn in the flesh, a messenger of Satan to buffet me, lest I should be exalted above measure. Okay? And hey, so, so the Lord had actually sent, you know, a principality, uh, you know, had, had Satan to buffet him in the flesh, you know? It, uh, um, matter of fact, just look at the word buffet. You know, lest he be exalted, man. You know, because the Lord was trying to keep him humble, and that's the reason why the Lord do a lot of things to us, man, to keep us humble. Strong's G twenty eight fifty two, Calafizo, Calafizo. Right, it says to strike with the fist, give one a blow with the fist, to maltreat, treat with violence, and to uh. Contumly, contumly. It's like if I'm saying that wrong, but yeah, man. So the Lord was basically uh, throwing jabs at Paul, man. Was beating Paul up. Paul went through. Hey, man. Paul had it, had had it rough, man. You know. And I believe the rest of the chapter is gonna go in and say that, man. Paul, Paul had had to undertake a lot of different things, man. Uh, let me see. It says. Uh, Verse 8, it says, For this thing I besought the Lord thrice that it might depart from me. You know? Hey, and that's the same way our, uh, Lord Yahweh Shai did, man. You know, when he was getting ready to be placed on that cross, man. You know, he, he had said, uh, you know, he prayed three times in the Garden of Gethsemane that that uh, that it departed away from him. That, you know, that it, it, if it was another way, that that cup should, should pass from him, man. But it was no other way. He had to die in that fashion for the uh, sins of the nation, man. You know, in order for us to... Uh, be brought back into that to that covenant okay it says uh verse 9 it says and he said unto me my grace is sufficient for thee for my strength is made perfect in weakness most gladly therefore i would rather glory in my infirmities that the power of hamashiach may be rest upon me it says therefore i take pleasure in infirmities and reproaches and necessities and persecutions and distresses for hamashiach's sake for when I am weak, then am I then am I am I strong? All right. I thought it was uh something else in here, and it goes into all the different things that he went through. But Paul Paul went through Paul went through a lot of stuff, man. You know, to say the least. Um, that might that might be another. In fact, I think it's in uh chapter eleven. Oh, yep, con. Yep, it's in chapter 11 right here. The list of different things Paul went through. Just kind of like, you know, you little insight on that. 2 Corinthians 11 and 20, 23. It says, uh, Our ministers of Mashiach, I speak as a fool. I am more in labors, more abundant, in stripes above measure, in prisons more frequent, in deaths often. You know? <laughs> And it's going to go on. Verse 24 it says, Of the Jews, five times I received 40 stripes, save one, you know, of his own people. It says, Thrice I was beaten with the rods. Once once uh, was I stoned. Thrice, thrice I suffered shipwreck. A night and day I have been in the deep. In, journey, in, in journeys often, in perils of waters, in perils of robbers, in perils by my own countrymen. So, you know, wicked Israelites, two thirds. It says, In perils by the heathen. In perils in the city, in perils, and perils is going into like just different tr troubles, man. You know, it says in, in perils in the wilderness, in perils in the sea, in perils of false amongst false brethren, in weariness and pain and painfulness, in watchings often, in hunger and thirst, in fasting often, in cold and nakedness. <laughs> man, see, so so Paul, man, had it rough, man. You know, and we gotta thank the Most High, man, because we didn't have it nearly as rough as Paul. You know, our Job, 
you know and that's why the scriptures say man that all all things written were written for our learning man you know so we can so we can look to these examples and know like hey yeah them go through it so so we can uh take that example man and learn from it you know and learn how to deal with it hey right? and i just want to grab a few more you know and just close it out so yeah man that's what that's this this why we wrestle man that's the reason my pa was wrestling you know going through all the things he's doing that's the reason why we go through all the things we're doing you know and it tells you in uh hebrews i ain't gonna get it but hebrews 4 and 15 you know our lord yahweh shot he was he was in all points tempted as we was man you know so he went through all the same things as well all right but ultimately man he uh he's the elect of the elect you know the first spirit created and if we are of the elect with him i right, we, we're going to endure as well nothing can pluck us out of his hand okay this is john chapter 10 starting at verse 25 it says yeah how i answered them i told you and you believe not the works that i do in my father's name they bear witness of me you know and that's the lord i think he was talking to those wicked uh some wicked the wicked jews at that time you know and uh they didn't believe him man you know even with the works that he was doing but he said he did the works in his father's name you know and that's the same way hey, the works that we do now uh uh you know through teaching his word you know and breaking it down exhorting you know through these uh sit downs you know we do that through the power of of yahweh by shai man all right and if we if we do anything in the future concerning spiritual power, we're gonna give praises to him as well, man. Because it's only gonna be through him. Okay, verse 26 it says, But ye believe not, because ye are not of my sheep. As I said unto you, my sheep hear my voice, and I and I and I know them, and they follow me. So it's about being a sheep, man, the 144,000. I right, the one third of the nation of Israel. You know, you got the one third woman and children, and that's uh and the 144,000, that's all encompassed. Uh, uh, within that You know Verse uh, 28 it says And I give unto them eternal life And they shall never perish Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand You see It says for my father which gave them me Is greater than all And no, no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand Okay so if we are that number If we are the elect man no, Nothing can pluck us out of the father's hand man Okay No matter what kind of trial, tribulation or whatever man you know, so just like uh, Jacob, who was, was the example, okay, we got that same spirit, man, okay, that same spirit of endurance, integrity, steadfastness, you know, let's see, uh, you know, and, and it's more, it's more wrestling to do, especially uh, as Jacob trouble approaching, close it out right here with Hosea 12 chapter, uh, verse 3. It says he took his brother heel and in in the womb it's talking about jacob you go back and read the story in genesis 25th chapter like when it was jacob esau was wrestling in the womb you know it says and by his strength he had power with the most high you know that's jacob prince of the power verse 4 it says yea he had power over the angel and prevailed he 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 wept and made supplications unto him he found him in Bethal, and there he spake with us. Okay, so, yeah, man, Jacob wrestled with the angel. He had power over the angel, man, and prevailed. All right, if he didn't want to let the angel go, he, he the angel wasn't going to go nowhere, man. <laughs> hey, man, hey, that's deep. That's deep, man, because the angels are powerful, man, you know. But it's afterwards, you know, you know, he wept, he gave praise to the Most High. All right, so, yeah, man, continue to strive all right, for, in, in his ministry for this truth. You know, pray, pray to the most I do what you got to do, man, because this is the grace period, and the grace period is almost up. And I pray personally, man, that, hey, the work that I do, you know, is uh, uh, worthy of acceptance in the eyes of Yahweh Shemi outside, man. Okay, and that he continues to keep his spirit on me, especially moving forward into Jacob Trouble, man. All right, so we can, so if I'm if I'm in a predicament to where, you know, that temptation is coming upon uh, uh, upon me or any other brother, you know, that we had a spirit to uh, fight past that and endure it, okay? So yeah, you know, just uh, hey, we gotta keep each other up in prayer. So I'm gonna end off on that note, Lord willing, edifying to the hope for the elect. Till next time, I say, shalom.